Welcome to Asheville, North Carolina. City I've been excited to visit for a few reasons. One of them being great food. Uh, we're gonna start the day with going to Early Girl Eatery. Um, I haven't been an early girl this morning. Uh, so hopefully they still have breakfast. I could really go for a uh, big breakfast. Alright, here it is. I'm pretty excited. We got a biscuit instead of toast, sausage, home fries, scrambled eggs, and coffee and water. That's pretty sure. Coffee is excellent. I'll let you know how the rest goes. Then it was all gone. So uh, it was pretty good. Um, the only thing is that, uh, like I said, I was hoping for breakfast because breakfast typically cheaper than uh, lunch, uh, which wasn't really the case here. Also, I had read that most of the meals were under ten dollars, which also wasn't really the case. Uh, so that breakfast was. Uh, 10.50 um, plus the coffee was 2.75, so a little bit pricey. And also, usually for that price, you would get a huge amount of food, and that was kind of a small breakfast, as you might have seen. Um, biscuit was really good with butter. Uh, the potatoes were looked like they were really seasoned, but they didn't really I didn't really taste that much seasoning, so I added salt and. Um, Oh, yeah. yeah, sausage was okay, so uh, scrambled eggs were fine, coffee was good like I said, so overall I'd give it a, a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, I think maybe because this place became really popular online and stuff like that, they, uh, they might have upped uh, the prices because the prices, like I said, were kind of different than, than what I had read. So anyways, so good, but uh, definitely not great. Tupelo Honey Cafe, it's another place I heard really good things about, so if I can, I'll check that out later. I've been walking for four hours, got a lot of footage of Haywood Street and West Asheville, uh, downtown Asheville, and the River District. So, uh, and the breakfast held up pretty well, which I, I thought initially was kind of small, but uh, you know, didn't get too hungry too fast, but uh, it's time for a late lunch. And I will be going to the White Duck Taco Shop, which is right next to the river. I believe there's also one that's right downtown. I've heard some really good things that this place is uh, pretty unique and affordable, so like for It's pretty cool, and this is the shrimp one. They're three sixty-five each. The fish taco is mind-blowingly good. She did say these were the two favorites. Can't wait for the shrimp. So my intuition was right to start off with the fish taco. The shrimp one was sweeter, almost like a dessert taco. Uh, it was also really good but it wasn't uh, mind-blowing like the fish one. Um, yeah, so overall for uh, white duck taco, oh, and by the way, uh, that was the, they have other locations, uh, like a few other ones, but that was the original spot. And I was actually listening to the, uh, the cook talk. We'd been there since the start and he was talking to one of the customers and it was pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, so 
overall for this place, kind of the originality of uh, the restaurant and the menu, quality of the food, price, uh, I would give it a 9 out of 10. So really recommend it. Great for a snack or a full meal. Uh, what would be amazing is if you were really starved and you went in there and you had a bunch of tacos, that would be amazing. But also you can stop by and just get one. So pretty versatile place, pretty amazing. Things are looking up. Uh, pizza and brewing company really cool place they also have a movie theater or two movie theaters so um, didn't get any footage because uh, I was with my uh, my two warm showers .org hosts uh, so just didn't feel like uh, taking footage from uh, that time but uh, pizza was good Maybe just the, the kind of pizza that I got it was uh, kind of I'm not used to getting. It had nuts and stuff like that, uh, pesto sauce. Uh, it was good, but I would I could have went for something a little bit more salty personally. Uh, but pretty good, and uh, lots of really good uh, beer. A lot of it actually made there, or it's their company that makes that beer, and it was really delicious. Um, it was a raspberry blueberry beer. It was amazing. A more traditional beer that was good. Uh, a darker beer that had like cinnamon and vanilla. That was amazing. And then uh, he had another kind of uh, cinnamon spicy with jalapeno beer. Uh, uh, so I had a flight there and uh, it was really good. It's time for the final meal of the day. Uh, I'm not super hungry. I'm going to go for something light. Uh, if you want to know why, check out my best breweries in Asheville video and I think you'll get a good idea. So to finish it off, I'm going to go to Urban Burrito. Let's check it out. So I got the jerk chicken burrito. Rice beans, jerk chicken, cheese, sour cream, guacamole, and pineapple salsa. I think this is the biggest burrito I've ever gone. And uh, I got to add a bunch of free extras like spinach, onions, a bunch of stuff. So I think I could barely close it. Pretty excited to eat this. And free chips and salsa. Because this thing is so ludicrously big. I swear it weighs, weighs at least five pounds. Kind of stands no chance of staying together, which is a little difficult to eat. So I've abandoned trying to eat this thing as a burrito. Too big. Can't stay together. Resorting to the fork. I'm still gonna eat this wrap though. Nice spinach wrap. There's all their wrap options as well, so that's cool. All right, so I finished that. That was definitely a, a battle to finish, uh, which is not usually the case for me. Um, definitely great value, so good bang for the buck. But in terms of quality, it doesn't really compare to the white duck tacos I had for lunch. Uh, so, I'll probably give a, a 7 out of 10 for that one. Um, so, good, but uh, not the curated and, and kind of specific experience that you would get, uh, like I said, at the white duck tacos, which was uh, much better. Uh, so, yeah. And you might have noticed that I kind of have a penchant for uh, type Mexican slash Latin food. Uh, it's not a uh, coincidence that uh, I'm bicycle touring from Canada to uh, Argentina. So if you'd like to see different places I've been and where I'm going to go and stuff like that and different videos I've made in those areas, uh, you can head over to my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. Uh, where you can see um, 
yeah, you can follow my adventures. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And you can also check out my other Asheville videos and uh, my adventures in general. So, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.